Live. Hey guys, we're here. We made it. Let's see how late we are. Oh, we're only 10 minutes late. Thank you. Too bad. Hopefully you're here waiting for us, some of you. Maybe you're hoping, wondering, not hoping, but maybe you're wondering if we're even going to show up. Hey, we're showing up. We're here. So talk to us. Let's see if you're here. I told you about it. Okay, we're going to go ahead. And today I'm going to show you my Downton Abbey piece. I'm going to talk to you about the way I made it and why I made it. Hey, there's Debbie. Debbie Nicholas, you're the first one. She's the first one today. Um, Colleen, Maud, Violet, um, Karen, Karen Eaton. Oh, Karen Eaton, good to see you here. Um, Deborah B. is here. Barbara Kelly is here. Howdy, 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 she says. And uh, let's see, C. Lombard. You made it on time for once in your life. Hey, don't worry. We weren't we weren't on time. So maybe that made it easier for you. Because <laughs> we weren't on time this time. Okay. Um, let's see. Where'd my other thing go? Okay, so Team Molly. Oh, Kate's here. Hey, how you doing, Kate? Miss Kate's in the house. Um, I think I don't have the same bead. Shoot. Maybe I can't do this after all. Um I see another one. Let's see who else is here. Susan Smith. Uh, Graham Easterbrook. I think you're new to us. Thanks for coming. We appreciate your coming. That's great. We love to see new people. That's for sure. Let's see. Well, let's get going. Um, as you know, it's the Downton Abbey Challenge Week. Everybody's been... Um, hi, Sarah Helwig. Hi, Zoe Tree Treasures. We're so glad you came. And Pat Jones is here, too. Deborah Long, of course, is here. Got a lot of our regulars and some new ones too. This is awesome. So glad to see you guys. It means so much to me to see you come. Because I know, you know, some days you do things with your family. you got stuff going on. And be honest with you, I do too. And we'll be explaining that to you a little bit later. But for right now, yeah, it's the Downton Abbey Change Week, Challenge Week. And uh, everybody's be posting their stuff. Today's the last day. So if you have something... Take a quick picture of it, post it, post it at the creative group, and then put it on the Pinterest board. If you don't have rights for the Pinterest board yet, then uh, what you need to do is you need to go to the creative group, and on the left-hand nav bar, it says Files. Click on that until you find the instructions for pinning at Pinterest. There's a URL there that you need to follow. You need to be following me. Once you're following me, then send me by private message your URL at Pinterest so I can find you because some of you guys go by other names over there and have a terrible time finding you if I don't have that link. Send it to me. I'll put you right on. It'll be simple as pie if you do that for me. Other than that, it may take a while. So anyway, let's see who else is here. Samantha Mansell, Karen McBorney. Hey, you made it. I'm so glad you did too. Leslie Kendrick. Is here Jean Abbott from Ketchikan, Alaska. Wow. Thanks for coming, Jean. Wow, we got a bunch of new people. Uh, Beverly Sprague is here. Pat Counts. Linda O'Meara. Is it snowing over there, Linda? Well, I'll tell you what. It's going to be snowing here pretty soon, too. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, she's changing her chair. Okay. Yeah, Javi may be a little bit quiet today. She went to Wendy's and ate something that's not agreeing with her. She's got a sensitive... Something has not agreed with me for a couple days. But... Oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you'd be feeling better. She has some tummy troubles, poor old honey. So, I always hope her, she can feel better. Yeah, I, sometimes I do too, so I empathize. Joy Turner. Hey, Joy. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. So today you got to get your Downton Abbey's up. Tomorrow I'm going to do drawing. It's going to be random. You can win. But today I finally got mine done. Because you know with these challenges, um, the last year or so with the book and all that, I have not always been able to do them. But one thing I have to say is whenever I am or whenever I make time, I'm always, always glad I do because I learn things. Oh, you got, yeah, you would have wicked snow in Wyoming, I'm sure. <laughs> but you're probably very smart about dealing with snow. You probably know yeah. all the ins and outs. We're just lightweights here in Ohio. <laughs> we don't have any yet, but we'll be getting it. They say it's going to be a bad winter here, so we'll see. I think Kate gets it worse than we do. I don't know, maybe not. I don't like snow. She's down by <laughs> Mary. Yeah, she's down by the river. Oh, anytime you're near rivers, yeah. Yeah, That's Michelle nice. Flores is here. Hey, how you doing? So anyway, on my book, um, 
as you know, I think I told you, I got the manuscript is done. It's at the proofreader right now. Um, I just have to get the pictures together. So yesterday I went in and I got all my boxes of pictures I brought from over there and I don't have anything that's the right thing. So I'm peeved, but you know what? I'm also very imaginative. That's why I do what I do. Hey, Melissa and Harpo. Hi, Cindy Baker. Yeah, no snow yet. Shannon Good is here. Hello from Las Vegas. Well, it's hot there. I bet you ain't no snow there. Oh, let's see. It's Olivia Perkins. Yay! They do get cold. Just here. Javi's here. Virginia <laughs> sent, sit, Kathy Perkins. If I forget you guys' names, I don't see you. That's all it is. I'll, I, other than that, I always say hi because... I appreciate every last one of you that comes. But anyway, so the, the book, oh, there's him. Yeah, he's got, we'll show his new hat. Yeah, this, the chicken has a new hat. I'm just going to show you real quick because, you know, kids, how they are. And yeah, there he is with his new hat. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that new hat because we got plans for a project for this, and it's going to be fun. Anyhow, get back to the program. All right, I finished my earrings. Look at these. Ta-da! The earrings are done. So, you know, yeah, the book is, uh, the book is basically done except for the pictures. The book, now I got to do pictures. It's going to take me oh, about a month. And then after that, it goes to Gorham Printing and Publishing, which is in Washington State. And they will do the interior layout and the cover because we already have the cover picked up. Most of you have seen it. And I have to do the, about the book for the back cover. And that's it. I have to get I have the copyright the the regular informal copyright that anybody can do is done, um, but I also have a legal copyright. We're gonna go do a little lawyer in on this and get it done all the way, because that's the 1928 way. <laughs> do it right or don't do it. Um, and then I have to get what's called P PCIP, and what that is. Is for those of you who know about libraries, there's a card catalog in the library. I think it's all on, you know, a computer now. Back when I worked in the library, it was in a card catalog, literally. But anyway, um, you have to have that entered into your book. And it's not something a novice can do. I know a little bit about it because I used to help the girls back in card catalog when the new books came in. But I also know I'm not smart enough to do the whole ding-dang thing. That's why they call it library science <laughs> so i have to have that done and other than that it's it's ready to go so i think probably by mid-january i'll have a book for you and at this time no i'm not doing any pre-sales because part of the arrangement i have with mr bernie is i only get 125 copies and some of those will have to be comp copies which i could just cry about but the rest of them um, I'm just going to put them out. If you get one of those, then that's great. And if you don't, I'm going to get you another one. Because on the second run, um, I can get more. I can use the ones I sell to pay for them. And I get a better price. So I really don't want to do too, too many on the first run. I get You, you have to pay more with the first run. Anyway, that's all the complicated nonsense. But anyway, it's about done. And I'm glad because I am ready to be creative again. I just really... Have missed it, and I honestly think it's damaged my relationship with my customers that I wasn't able to do that. You know, so that's kind of sad, but we can fix it. We can fix it. Hey, Lynn Reeve, how are you doing? Luann's here. Yes, I am happy. Because I'm happy. Sharon Marie from England is here. Yay! Wow, that's great. We got anybody else from UK here? I know we got Lenny. She's, she's uh, from... Uh, Australia. I think I got a package going for Lenny next week. Well, I'll see now. This is why I hate jump rings sometimes, is you don't want to line up. But anyway, I made my Downton piece, and I'm going to show you why I did what I did. And maybe it'll help you out. Because, you know, it's really pretty basic. But I was kind of fretting the other day. I'll fix this later, but you guys are going to see I have a wonky jump um that's kind of frightening because i'm like what am i going to teach these people most of them know more about jewelry making than i do um after a while maybe easy peasy gets old for them and they move on and blah 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 and then i realized wait a minute there are a lot of things that i know about design from having done it over year over the years about what works and what isn't going to work um what you might want to try just find out um 
and also just basic stuff that if you go like get a tutorial, it's not going to be in there. It's just basic stuff that people assume you know. And I think maybe I can just be the queen of that because there's a lot of people who want to know those things. Just really basic things. And I'll show you when I get my downtown done. But anyway, when we talk about it in a minute. But anyway, here are the earrings I just made now. I just made these now. I'll take a picture of them on a cup and put them in the creative group because they'll be my Sunday earrings challenge. But these were so fun. This week, we got a huge shipment of brass ox ship of pieces that have been out. As I was sadly not able to order most of the summer. And then it got to be fall. They get busy. It took them almost two months. Well, now they're here. So, hey, Beansy Cat. Um, so, I got some things that are really, really cool for a Downton look. And just something different. And you stack caps. You stack, fa you stack fancy bead caps. And that's what I've done in this. I don't know if I can really help you to see how that is. But what I did was, if I can put it pull out, because I have a whole bunch of them sitting over here. And these are all on the site, by the way. If you want to pick some up, they're over there waiting for you. And uh, and I also got these caps back, too, which are just, like, so wonderful because we haven't had them in forever. We couldn't get them. The company that made them closed down, so we couldn't get them anymore. How about that? That wasn't good. So anyway, so the way I made these, to make these little bellflower earrings here, I'll just give you a quick, just show you, to get you in the mood for stacking caps, because stacking caps is a cool, cool way to make earrings. And it makes them different from other people. So people say, what did she do there? Because they can't sometimes figure out, you know, how many caps you use and all that, you know. So it makes it fun that way. But, um, so here's how I started these earrings. I started these earrings with these 10, 10 millimeter cream uh, Baroque check snail pearls, which are, I love them. I think we still have them over at the website too. I don't think we ran out yet, but I'll get more. Actually, you need to put a bead cap under there. <laughs> I forgot. We have these at the site too, these little cast bead caps. Okay, so you put a bead cap under there and you put the pearl on. I just love that pearl. I just love snail pearls, glass. Czech Republic, wonderful. The only thing better than Czech Republic glass pearls to me is the old Japanese ones. And they're getting harder to find and they're not cheap anymore, so. Anyway, so the next thing I do is I put this little bellflower on. I don't know if you can see this. Little bellflower. And hey guys, if you're getting any statics, static, if you hear any static, please let us know because we noticed after we did the video last week, we had a lot of static. And uh, we felt bad about it, but I, nobody complained during the video, and I didn't hear it either. So I don't know if we have a mic that's going bad or what, but if you hear any at all, please report it to me. You know, you can do it right here on the feed. That's fine. I won't mind. And then uh, we'll know what we need to do. Okay, so I'm putting this cap on here. And once again, this is a cone cap. This is the one that I'm absolutely nuts about that I haven't been able to get for four years. Now we have them in silverware. We have them in brass socks. They're up. Did you get these up, Javi? Did you Which get one? these cone caps up? Yep. Okay, they're, they're up. In six packs. They're in six packs, yeah. Because who's going to use one, right? <laughs> so I don't know if you if you can get them the... Yeah, the link. Yeah, get them links for this stuff, for the bellflowers if we have them up in this. Um, but I couldn't get them. So I got them in silverware. I think we got some in gold, but I think we sold out like now because I didn't get too many. But I have a lot in silver and I have a lot in brass socks. So go load up, because I don't think they'll last. But I do have a reorder already, so you'll be glad to know that. And I can get all I want now. So it's the same piece. It's just the company went down and somebody else bought the die, and I had to find out who. And once I did, I had to make some phone calls and see if they could make it. And they did, but it took them forever. And now I think we're good. I don't think it'll take them so long the next time. So anyway, the next thing I put on here is this little cap here. You all have caps like this. I don't think we have these for the site because I think I only bought a couple dozen to see what they look like. These are new. But, you know, you don't even have to have it. I just do this, just do this. That works. You could put a bead up there or something. But I like this other little cap over it. So now what I'm going to do, 
is I'm going to take these little knotting pliers that I just got. Just tried them too. I'm going to get some more of them. You'll love them. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap the top. And you can make some new little bellflower areas. And the thing is, you know, this will just help you to think of new, new, new things that are your own idea too. Which I don't care if you copy these. I mean, I'm certainly not the first person to ever make earrings like this. But I'm just saying, usually you make one and it makes you think of a bazillion other ones, right? Get in there and cut that. I'm going to take my... You know, if you use a crimping plier, sometimes you can get that last little bit to tuck in a little bit better. And kind of just stuff it in there a little bit better. Sometimes you don't have to. It just depends, you know. And then you gotta straighten this up, at least I do, because it's not right. Okay, so now this thing's crooked, so what do I do about that? See, this is the kind of stuff they don't talk about when it goes bad. I have a lot of that. Okay, I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna crimp that down with this flat nose. I'm gonna crimp this down with that flat nose. See, so it looks better. I have a couple little issues with the top here, of course, because I'm on camera and I'm showing you. <laughs> it always happens that way. So I have to fix that later. It's a little bit crookedy. I might be able to straighten that out with um, the knotting pliers, which have a real fine tip. Yeah, that's better. I have to work on a little bit. Anyway, you can see the whole premise of it, how it goes, right? And then we just hang it, and then it hangs up from the bottom. I just used an acrylic piece at the bottom of this one. I thought it was pretty to have kind of a, a crystally clear type piece at the bottom when you have the, the pearl and the dark at the top. So that's what I did. But basically, it's just stacking stuff. And I have all kinds of stuff that came in that you could stack. For example, I had I got this one, which we'd been out of this one for a long time. I didn't kind of stick it. On the end of these, you can see it better. Yeah. I'll model them with this. We were out of these for a long time. Put a pull it up here, you can see it. These tall caps. There you go. Now you can see it. If I can just pull it over there, we go. Yeah. We're out of that one. We were out of that one. We're out of this one. But this one's really good for Kumahimo. Kumahimo. So how you say, I know Karen Eaton has been pricing with that. She's getting pretty good, too. These are perfect for Kumihimo. I used to sell so many of these to the ladies that did Kumihimo. They're all pretty. So we got, oh, I just, just don't have a, I just don't have a sense for where I am in the camera. So now I just keep pulling it out worse. There we go. All righty. Sorry my hands look so bad. It's getting to be that dry time of year so we got those and then we got these little you know bell flowers that you saw and we got these new little caps you saw and we got some more flower caps and um bell caps this we got this one all this stuff layers like the bomb got this one i get it up here you know just look for stuff that you can layer and it adds so much texture and dimension to your earrings. It's just crazy. And then, I, you know, really, yeah, you get a little, whoops, of course. You get a little bit more money into stuff that way. But, you know, when the earrings are usually highly profitable. So, you know, with earrings, it's, it's not such a big deal. And you only use one of these beads, you know. So I would say costing it out, I don't know. Maybe I have five, six bucks in these. Maybe. If. And you saw it doesn't take any time to make them. And who doesn't want to wear those? In fact, I'll tell you what. I want to wear them and I'm putting them on right now. I have my earrings from last week that I made out of those uh, garment clips. I've been wearing them all week. Everybody's been saying, what are those? What are those? Anyway, we had this one idea before I get into my down piece. Because I know you're all wanting to see it. Um. We found this piece, and I thought it was so unique, I had to have some. So it's like this, okay? It's like, you can put stuff almost, <laughs> but you wouldn't. I mean, it's just, you know, it's deep in there and very open. Well, you could put a stone in there. Yeah, if you have the right stone, you could put yeah. a serolin maybe. Yeah. But of course, now you're going to want to 
put something in to hang it, maybe. So, but these were my ideas so far. Now, this was, I thought this might work. Tell me what you think. You know, they're doing that scented jewelry stuff, and most of them have lockets. Hey, Debbie Hall. See you there. See who else came in that I didn't see? Yeah. Um, Sheila Sentner's here. Yeah, layered different plating colors looks very good. That's right, Kate. But anyway, I was thinking about this. You know this dome? We've had this forever. We had some more coming back in. I think it really shows the detail when you show it in the brass ox. Anyway, so to do scented stuff, I thought maybe you could put a few of those little tiny lava rocks in here that are scented, and then you could glue this thing over it. And you could have, because it seats down in there pretty good, and you could have a scented pendant of some kind. And then when you needed to, like, spruce up the fragrance a little bit, so, because it'll wear out after a while, you could go right down in that hole with a little dropper and kind of reset them. I, th I don't know. What do you guys think? Would that work? I think that works. I mean, the lockets are better because you can open them up and stuff, but... I don't know, I think this might be more uh, true to form for the old stuff, you know. It would be more like the way they made them back in the day. And then this, of course, is drilled on both ends. It's drilled here and here. So, you know, you would hang something from it, make it into a necklace or whatever, you know. Oh, you're saying you like this idea? Would the oils ruin the metal? Not if you keep it inside and don't use very much. I mean, just like, like a, a tiny, tiny drop. It would have to be the, the oil. Yeah. But what I would do is I would take, maybe maybe to scent the lava rocks, or not lava rocks, the lava beads. You can get them anywhere except at my place. I don't have them yet. Maybe I should. Um, I would put them in a little bowl and kind of scent them and like put them aside, you know, for when you want to do this. And they'd be ready. And then I would probably blot them with a paper towel, really good thick one first, and get, just get any excess oil off of it, and then just fill this whole thing up. This much will fit, you know, comfortably under this. And then go ahead, put this on, and you're gonna wanna glue it in, but that's easily done. And they will roll around in there, but they're not gonna come out. There's nothing here big enough that they can come out. Um, I don't know if you can if you can stack them up like dome them up in there a little bit so that you can get this on still. I mean, why not? You can put as many in as you can fit. That I don't know yet. I haven't tried. Maybe decides. Maybe depends on the size of them. I don't know. I'm gonna get some. We're gonna try this. This will be a project. It might be a produced video or something. Anyway, um, so you know, here's what it looked like. I'm gonna set this on top of it to give you an idea of the dimension of it. Yeah, it sets up a little bit, but it's not bad. I mean, if you put it on a long chain, you could wear it, and it, it would be fine. Put some other little doofus on there with it. I think it'd be cute. A lot of people like scented jewelry. Myself, um, I don't know. My jewelry's up, but a lot of people like it. You know, another thing you do besides the lava thing, you could take um, a piece of... Uh, cotton ball or something put that of course i don't know maybe it would show too much i don't know this is something we have to experiment with guys but i think it's worth experimenting with somebody said could you use jewelry shield to coat the metal you could but you don't have to and it it you know it kind of has a smell to it so it could interfere i would certainly not yeah. i would certainly not do it down in here because it could interfere with the perfume well. So and I would not do that. Hey, Catherine, how you doing? So glad you could come. Could you make the whole little big old with an all? Of course you could. Yes, you would. Oh, yeah. You could. I wouldn't, Lynn, because you don't want anything coming out of there or sticking out of there. And I'm going to show you. I'm just going to hold this up here, and I'm going to just show you how big it is already. I don't have my little calipers over here to measure, but it looks like mm, three millimeter maybe. Maybe a little bigger. See, you can, it's pretty big already. See, I'm getting my little knotting pliers all the way in. So I don't think you want it to be any bigger. But this is just one idea for using this. I thought this was a, a cool little idea that I came up with. Um, and then another idea I came up with this, uh, why don't you stack on it? Okay, so where's some more of those? Okay, so you can stack. Like, oh, let me get some of the stack away. 
I'll put a bead on it just so it will be stable. Go up under here. Yeah, I don't want that yet. Okay, so I'll show you where I'm going with this. Me and Javi had this idea this morning. We liked it. See what you guys think. Okay, so I put another one on there. And so I want another one of my famous cones. Why don't I try this one still and see what happens. How that looks. Well, that's kind of cool. Now, what if I put this over it? Oh, that's kind of cool, too. I don't know. Anyway, I'm kind of liking this better. So anyway, but the point is this. When I showed it to Javi, and she sh she saw all the little tiny loops underneath. Let me turn one upside down so you can, so you can see this one. So there's all these loops. Can you see? Cork pieces, that would also work, and they wouldn't show as much, too. So you get a bunch of cork and just kind of chop it up a little bit. But there's all these, this round here going on. She said, why don't you take little pieces of fine chain and you could dangle a few from here out, and then you could dangle one like on each every little loop and hang it, and then it'd be like a tassel, which it would. But then I got this goofy idea, and I said, what if we like painted it a little bit with some purples and blues, like a turquoise blue and a darker purple, and got beads that color that were really luminous? Oh, he'll get it. Let's and see. then we hung them down. It would be like a jellyfish. <laughs> I thought. We, I mean, it would, but it wouldn't. It'd be beautiful, I think. Like all random months. And it'd be like a jellyfish type. We call them jellyfish earrings, maybe. I don't know. Chandelier style earrings, yeah, too. Absolutely. Very good tassel. But I was just thinking for fun. You know, sometimes people... Um, We'll look at things more when you call it something odd. Like, what's she talking about? What is it? You know, what is it? Maybe don't put that stuff on the top. Just do a bead, like, in the colors that you wanted to use. Like, where's that thing that I had those beads from last week? Oh, I put it aside. Well, it's not in there. Is it under there? No, it's not under there. Of course. Hmm. I had a bowl with check beads and stuff in it. Oh, well. This? No, I wanted this, this bead here. It was on my necklace last week. You know this one? That's the fluorescent light. The vitriol bead. Oh, shoot. I'll find it later when we're done. I know what I think it's under here. See, I don't feel bad, you know, being a little lost with this stuff because I know you guys have messes on your desk too and can't find stuff. This is the one. Like, this is the one. We still have some of these left because I bought a lot. So if you didn't get any last week, you probably want to bebop a lula on over and get some before I run out. Anyway, I don't know if that looks good. I don't know. I have to play with it, but I just had a bunch of ideas for this piece. And normally you would think, like, what am I going to do with that? That's kind of weird, you know? But, um,. I thought the really good idea was making the, like the perfume thing out of it. So that's some idea. So anyway, we got that. And any of you guys remember that steampunk owl that we used to have years ago? Harry made some cool stuff. I think I think you got that on that brass mm -hmm. so Yeah, she got maybe she can find it and put the link for you or something. Well, she's drawing a jellyfish now. There you go. Oh, see, like there this is go. this is her idea. <laughs> This is Javi's artwork. See, she wants to do it like that. You can get that colored chain. Yeah, you can. And then you could... Oh, you have to bring it a little you, bit. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but that would be the bead cap, and that would be not a bad idea. Yeah. Oh. I'm down here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you get that colored chain, and then you could take and paint the top. Brass ox is really good painting. I don't know if you guys knew that. It paints really well. Other things don't so well. Brass ox is awesome. It takes the paint really well. So there you go. There's Javi's artwork. Oh, Sheila got some with her order. Yeah, last week on uh, Sunday, I had said, if you put an order in today, tomorrow, whatever it was, I'd give you six of them. And we sent out like 20 little packages or something. A lot of people got them. But then I ran out. So these are mine now. <laughs> anyway, so let's get to the Downton Abbey stuff. So, I mean, just some ideas. You know, sometimes you get new stuff in and you just kind of flip them around and say, hey, you know, 
maybe we could do this, maybe we could do that, you know, or maybe we could go this way, maybe we could go that way, you know, and just, just start playing with it, you know. And I love to do something that's, you know, unexpected, like, um, this is a necklace I made yesterday night. I showed some of you guys. Yeah, it was on the creative group. Yeah, it was on Those the creative really group. Nice Mel liked this necklace a lot. He says, oh, you're such a good designer, you need to do it more. That was nice. Mm -hmm. um, that was really nice. I don't know if I believe it or not, but it was nice. Anyway, but um, I made a bracelet to go with it, and he didn't like it, but I like the bracelet better, you know. Anyway, I wore this this morning. It was very comfortable, and it's all these great big um, pearls, you know, these great big pearls from the site. Made a little tassel. So this is just typical for me anymore. I love to take a lobster clock clasp. And turn it into a focal. And this is easily done because it's got the uh, pave crystals on it. And yes, they are on order, but it's not going to be a while for their hair. This will be a while. But yes, I will have some for you. In both silver and gold. Mm. For now, they're in my <laughs> stash. I don't know. Let's see how many do I have. How many do I have in my stash? Well, this isn't it. This is other stuff. Yeah, I did. And I always misplace. Here they are. <laughs> Here they are. This is my stash. Let's see, I've got, and I've got plans for them too, baby. I got one, two, I have five of them. But I'll tell you what, whoever wins the drawing today, I'm going to give you one, okay? But you'll be the only one that gets one until, you know, till, <laughs> till we get them in. But anyway, you know, look at this. You can even do them like opposites because they're they're on both sides. These are really nice. So you could make... They might be kind of heavy, though. I don't have to try it. Yeah, but if you put pearls in... Yeah, light, yeah. So, yeah, something lightweight. But anyway, these are all seated down in here good, so they shouldn't come out of their settings. Because I first saw them, I'm like, oh, that's a terrible design. They're just going to all come chipping out of there. But no, they're pretty good. So, anyway, um, oh, you know, Javi, this bracelet is on my dresser by my bed. Yeah, can you go get it? Because I want to show you with this chain. I had a lot of this chain specially plated in our colors. I'll show you that, too. We're still going to get to the down piece. Just got all this other exciting stuff to tell you. Yeah, I'm binge watching down now, but you know what, Beverly? I did the same thing. I binge, I saw the whole blame thing, and I never knew anything about that show. I never watched it, I didn't care. And then the movie was coming out, and as you know, 1920 has the um, license to make the jewelry with their name, their logo on it. So I thought, uh, you know, I probably should go. So I went to the movie, and I loved it. So I noticed on Amazon Prime, if any of you guys get it, have Amazon Prime. Uh, uh, you know, membership. If you have it, you can go in on your Hulu and bring it up, and they have all six seasons. So you could just sit there and gag out on it. So I did. I did. I gagged out. I watched the whole thing, and I loved it. It was fun. Yeah, this is a classic gold uh, line, the same as the gold brass that we do. Not, not. This. I'll show you the difference. This is the um, pewter that we do in the gold. It's 22K, and it goes pretty good. But the classic gold is more um, semi-matte. And he, for some reason, when he played it, did not put the dusting of cinnamon on it. It was supposed to have, but I really don't care. It looks fine for this chain. But what I did was I cut it up in five and a half to six and a half inch lengths because if I do it on a, a spool and send it to him by the foot, the price goes way, 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 way up. It's okay for the, the lesser expensive plating finishes, but not for this. So I says, well, most of it's gonna be for bracelets anyway, so why not? So I cut it up, threw it in the batch, and lo and behold, I got it back plated, and we got bunches of it. And uh, so I made it into this bracelet, but with this, I I, know I thought about, oh, let's just do it crystals and pearls all the way around. And I probably will yet, because that's a good look. But for me, I don't like that much weight and fussing around. So I put the, the lobster off to the one side, and I just hung the stuff to the one side. So when I put it on, it looks like this. I'm not going to... 
come up here. Maybe I should hook it up, but anyway, you'll get the idea. It just comes down over your hand, and then the lobster is still a focal, and then the chain goes back. This chain is so silky. I'm telling you what, it is so, 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 so silky. That's what I thought when I grabbed it. <laughs> it's so, I mean, it's so easy to wear. I had this thing on for the longest time, and you would think this would be cumbersome, but it's not. It is not as very, very comfortable, and it looks very high-end. This plating is very, very high-end plating. These pieces are very high-end. They're the kind of thing, like if you went to Neiman Marcus to buy stuff, um, this is the kind of stuff you would find. Statement jewelry made like this. It has a slight look of real to it. So anyway, I made that for the bracelet, and then I made my necklace, and then we'll see where else the road takes me. But I was just thinking, you know, you could use this. For a clasp, too, because, you know, it has that little clip on the back. I don't know if you guys realize that. It has a little clip on the back. And, oh, a note to you who are waiting so patiently for the 1928 to get restocked. I have it all now. It's going out to the player tomorrow. That means in about 10 days we'll have the gold. Maybe sooner. If I get it out tomorrow... He might have it done by the weekend or Monday, meaning he'd send it out. We might have it by toward the end of the week, the following week. So it's on the way. But this would be cool as a clasp on this, too. In fact, have another piece here. Yeah, here's a piece that I cut. This stuff is stinking expensive, though. You know what? I'm not even going to apologize for it because it's just that good. It's worth it. You know, like L'Oreal, it's worth it. But... Uh, with this, you know, you know, normally I sell chain by the foot, but this I'm going to sell them in short lengths, five and a half to six and a half, however long it is. I don't know if I'm going to put it at the, at the site. I don't know if I can afford to because of all the discounts and stuff. I, I just can't turn over stuff for nothing anymore and stay in business. You know, we're having enough trouble, so I'm trying to think. Oh, you know, I don't want to put them through that, but I'd like for them to have. So I did some samplers. Um, the end of last week, and we sold out of just about all of them except this one. We have one left, and here's what I did. They got this one. You can see they're varied lengths. You know, I'm not apologizing for that. Um, this is the um, rusted iron. This is the gingerbread. This is the gold. This is the silverware, which was very expensive to have done, but it was just worth it. Our silverware is so awesome. And then I got this chain, which I had handmade for me over in Korea. I got a little bit of it done, which it was expensive, too. But we have it on the site and raw. But I got a little bit, a little bit plated, so we have a little of that. And I made a sampler, and with it, you got some ear wires and some little of those little cool beads and stuff, all plated in custom colors. Just random, just a little bit of it. Got it all. It was 90 bucks postpaid United States. Don't gasp. I know it's a lot of money, guys. It's like you do it or you don't. Somebody said I want some. <laughs> well, anybody who wants this one, it's up for grabs. I still have it. It's 90 bucks, And then don't, don't forget you get ear wires and some other little doofus on the side, you know. But it's mostly in the, in the, <clears throat> in the chain. Now, I have more of this gold and silver. I don't have more of the rusted iron. I don't have any more of the gingerbread. I didn't have more of this stuff because somebody bought me out <laughs> as soon as I showed it. And I was glad she did. She deserved to have it because I know she's going to do some awesome, awesome stuff with it. You'll see it at the Creative Group, I'm sure, one day. But we do have some silver and we do have some gold. And if you want to buy it by the piece, um, I would have to say don't gasp. If you want to buy it by the piece, the first piece would be 20 bucks. That way I get my shipping. After that, the uh, second piece would be 17 We could work it out. Just get in touch with me. You can call me tonight, 330-886-0052, um, or you can write to Jordan, or you can write to me at Facebook if you want some. I have maybe 17, 18 pieces. Of both colors, silver and gold. Yeah. And then I had a bunch of little doofus chain and I had plated and I'm not going to sell, but um, I'll just show it to you because it's fun. I had uh, I had a couple pieces of this done. So this is what that chain looks like in gold. 
And then I had this, which I only had like two, three feet of this. Because this is really, really expensive. Um, I got that done in our coast. This is interesting. Let me tell you about this. This chain, it gets goofy. Anyway, this chain, there's a very, very expensive necklace and bracelet set in antiquities couture made out of this. There's several layers. Donna has it, and it's awesome. It's the same exact thing. But I had got a couple little feet of it from Mel just to mess around with it. And um, I kind of liked it, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make some bracelets out of it. Like, I got this one started. This is some wheat chain that I had. I picked up over there. You remember when the, we had the fire and I got stuck in the factory for a better part of a week? Well, I got this when I was over there. He had me where he wanted me then because I couldn't get away. So I bought stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to make a bracelet out of this for myself. And maybe some more. That's a little parrot clasp that I got. It's got the pavé on it. But anyway, there's that. So, anyway. Yeah, if anybody wants some of this stuff, uh, don't ask me for it on here because I can't take... I'm going to learn how that works, though, because I want to have a pop-up sale a couple times, maybe this fall. But I have to figure out how to work that out and keep track of everybody. I haven't yet, so... Yeah, if you want this stuff, let me know. You can uh, you can send me an email, bsu1441 at aol.com. You can put that on there if you want, yep. Javi. So there's a bunch of ways to get hold of me. It's not that I don't want to talk to you. It's just I can't, I can't uh, keep up with you here. <laughs> oh, what's Brooks say? Hey, guys, I've been a bit busy with a grandbaby. I'm going to have to watch the evening. Oh, good for you. What a blessing to have a grandchild. I I will probably not have any, so I kind of get jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, this is what it is. So, hi there. Who, Acel 1955? I don't know who that is, but anyway, hi, I'm glad you came. All right, let's get to the down thing after. Just do it in the group as a pop-up. No beans, because you know what? First of all, not everybody gets to see that because it's whoever have been. Yeah, I'm making it hard, Deborah. Not on purpose. I had this done for me. I'm, I had an idea for a line. I was going to do it. And then I got it. And I'm like, not now, Brenda. What were you thinking? You know, I'm trying to, you know, finish this book up and get it off my desk. So I thought, no, I'm going to use some of it. And then I'm going to let other people have the rest. And I also have about three quarters of a big roll of it in the basement. So I can do it again sometime down the road. But that's why I have it to sell. And I can't. I'm like, you know, how are you going to sell this on the site, you know, and I can't do coupons on it, and not without, you know, I don't like bumping my prices up just to do coupons. It's kind of like dumb, but anyways. So here's the, here's the Downton Abbey piece that I did, and I used brass ox. I used some of the new stuff that, that uh, just came in. I made it this morning, <laughs> just under the water. <laughs> Just under the wire. Um, so, anyway. Okay, let's talk about the Downton Abbey. Why don't you send Brooks congratulations to her page? Wouldn't that look cute there? Send her a card. What happened to that? <laughs> what, hap what happened? What happened to sending I know nobody sends cards anymore. Hallmark must be going to go out of business. We send e each other email cards. Which I've seen that. that was but cute. you know what? They're fun, too, because they're animated. We love those. I thought that was cute. Yeah. Um, but yeah, whatever happened to sending cards? I send a donation for the animal shelter out there in California once in a while. I always go to Barnes & Noble, and I look for a really special card that has a dog doing something on it. And she loves those. You know what? She would love beans. If you guys, if you guys go on my Brenda Sue Lansdowne page, my personal page, and scroll back a little bit, Beans sent me this goofy picture um i just love it it's this little kid playing a banjo it could have been her or it could have been me when we were little <laughs> she says to me i say it's her this kid's playing a banjo with a little curly hair and there's a dog on his hind legs dancing to the banjo <laughs> and this is cutest picture you gotta go see it i wish i could find a card with that on it 
Rachel says, she's still a sense card. Good for you. Gloria Allen says, card, you go, Gloria. Yeah, Catherine, she would send cards. Yeah, cards are, are awesome. But anyway, so this is mine, and I use these parts. Let's see if I brought them all out here to show you. Uh, you know what, Abby? See those two big bags over there that have brass ox parts in them that I was yeah. going to put on eBay? Okay. All right. Oh! Oh, oh. We went down straight and nothing fell out. Can you imagine? Okay, so I have... That scared me more than you. <laughs> I have this piece in it, which is on the site now. I don't know if you can find it. Put which a link one? up, this here one. Yes, I can. I haven't had this for a long time. Those of you who have been around me for Just a long time that. know I've had this off and on, and I love it. And it's perfect for Downton Abbey because... It is what they call a transitional deco piece. And what that means is when, um, say, art forms are kind of changing and one is kind of like they're morphing into the next one coming along. At this, at this time, this would have been from like late 20s, maybe, a piece like this. Early 30s, more like late, late, 20, late 20s. You can see arts and crafts design in here as, as well as Art Nouveau with the little tendrils. But with the shape of this, even though it's soft, it's becoming geometric, which suggests deco. And in the late 20s, people were still doing the Nouveau thing and they were doing arts and crafts too, which there's a very strong arts and crafts um, uh, influence here too. They were still doing that, but they were moving over into the deco thing, which is, of course, geometric. And that's why this piece is transitional deco. If you guys have done um, uh, responsible repurposing with me, you might know that. Maybe not. I'm going to do responsible repurposing again probably this summer. And we're going to have more videos with it. But anyway, I'll tell you that for now. This, this is why it's transitional deco. Okay, so I did that. And then I used this very fine Figaro chain, which is CHN 07596. And we do have more of it at the website. But it's just perfect. It's just the right... It's not. You wouldn't want something really heavy with a Downton style piece. But you go and you look at that period. You know, that was really from Edwardian times, you know, just pre-Titanic times. Um, then the series went on to the late 20s, early 30s, wasn't it? So um, you get Edwardian to transitional deco looks in that period. So for these long lavaliers, um, you would have a fine chain. You wouldn't have, like on my necklace that I just made and I'm wearing, you would not have a big honking chain. It's delicate. And they hang long. But also there are short ones too. And a lot of times they did them in like layers. Which for this one, I would like to do a layer to go with this yet. Or you might do um, several like uh, just chains. Maybe with single bead hanging in here. Just some really delicate beads. Or another one really long under this. You know, and also as Colleen pointed out to us yesterday, she did the coolest thing. I don't know if you're still on here, Colleen, or if you went off to make dinner. But um, anyway, she uh, took the pieces in, and she took old-fashioned pictures from that period, and then she put them on them like a brooch. See how cool would this be as a brooch on here? I thought that was awesome. Thanks for doing that, Colleen. That was just awesome. So we have this piece here. That I made it from. And as for the rest of it, it's just beads. I use this little mustardy bead, which is not true to the period, but it worked. And that's sometimes fun to do too when you're doing something in a period style, but you want to update a little bit. Go ahead and use some of those Picasso beads in there. You know, do something like that. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. That's good. I use some of these um, little. Um, potato pearls or whether you call them baroque snails I use them and then I also use this bead which we have these on the site too and it's a bicone baroque bicone gold on the ends and it's a beautiful like an olivine pale olivine in the center this gorgeous so those were the beads that that I used these three and I have a little bit of mixed impression jasper on here too and then I have the caps 
like you know we're playing around here with and some other stuff and I have a little brass ox thing and I put a pearl on the end now here's why I did it this way just just to show you a little something which most of you probably know but whatever um, if you see the color wise I'm gonna have to pull this down here so I can get it all in the strong color wise this is how I did it how I laid it out this is not you know when I sit down and do a necklace like this it's like like the stack boho beading that we do oh we got 72 on here watching I think that's an all-time high <laughs> yeah um, awesome so it's a lot like that and usually when I do the stack boho I will take everything in a certain color you know family and I'll just throw it all in a bowl and I'll work out of the bowl and I just make it work however it's pretty random this is not random this is planned. This is a different pattern to it. And that's because I'm trying to stay with the style of the period, which would have that because deco was that way. Art deco was that way. So there would be a pattern to it. It would not be random like I do it. That's more of a mixed media thing we do now. All this random organic stuff would not be random. It's a pattern. So here's the pattern. I started down here with a pearl teardrop. And then I came up and I did two lengths here with the Baroque pearls here. Okay. And at the end, I did my finial with the pearl. So this piece is balanced. Everything's brass socks. There's no mixed metals on it. Which there's nothing wrong with doing mixed metals. That's fine. But that's kind of bringing it forward. To stay true to that style then you would have one color, one tone. So, um, anyway, um, oh, Colleen is on here. I know she was on to begin with. Hi, Erin, I just saw you there. Oh, there's Colleen. Yeah, that was cool what you did yesterday, Colleen. If any of you guys haven't seen it yet, go to the creative group and scroll down through and see Colleen's picture. She did the coolest thing by showing how it would look. So this, then I took, um, pieces of the fig row and I count I, I so I made these all first and then I took pieces of the fig row and they're like uh, a little bit over an inch long and I did it this way to give it form most of you guys know this but maybe some don't and I I left three big loops okay and I use those to hang through there you can see them three big loops so I cut you know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I cut 11, no, I cut 10 of them, five for each side and then one for uh, an extender, but then I see I used something else at the end, so I guess not. But anyway, so five of them on each side, so 10 total. And then you have the little singles here with the green, and then you have the fancy one with the cone caps and the layering and the stacking here, and then, so it's all very ordered, which is how that jewelry from that time would have been done. I think, and I bet a lot of you will agree, that it would have been a lot more fun if it was charged up a little bit. How many are with me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, I like this. I like how it came out. It's pretty. Um, it's totally wearable, very comfortable. It's long. It's, uh, which you, in that period of time, it would be long. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It is. That's what they were wondering, how long Yes, it it's not as long as, I want to say it's about 26 inches long. So it's not a 30. So it just hangs, um, not quite as long as a 30, a little bit shorter. But for me, it's perfect. Now, if you're taller and you want it longer, then, you know, yeah, you would make a little longer. This, this is how it worked out. And I love the brass socks with this color of pearl. I think it's it's really rich. But, you know, most of us would rather see a sterling. We would rather see, you know, copper, gold, whatever. Now, the reason I did brass socks, number one, I had a bunch of it come in and I want to share it with you. But also, brass socks is kind of true to the period. They had a lot of antique brass. A lot of people, there are a lot of people now that collect antique brass that has patina on it from that period jewelry but this would probably be more like is not than done in sterling yeah. and it the colors they would have been using would have been crystal onyx black or jet black 
and um, sapphire blue. If you go back and you look, there are some. There is a little more color as you get toward the end of the series. A little bit more chunk going on. I, I found the jewelry at the end of the series far more interesting than the stuff at first. At first, I'm like boring. I did not like it. But as it got more toward 1930s, you know, late 20s, 30s, um, the only one I thought who had in the early part it had any interesting jewelry was the Dowager. The rest of them was just like boring. But then in time, it it uh, it picked up and it was they had some cool cool stuff and everything was in layers which is i love that you know dawn likes the symmetry and simple pattern hey i'll tell you what it's easier to work that way because you can count everything off and that's another reason why i like big row chain because you can count it off but um i like to mix stuff up i mean i probably would have taken and done uh very asymmetrical, maybe less, maybe less beads on this side, more on that one. Um, I might have embellished this somehow. I might have done a really long chest tassel on here, which that'd still be true to the period if you wanted to do that. But I would have just, you know, I would have gone my own way like Bisu does. But I thought, no, no, I need to, I need to show the girls how, um, how we can make it now that would be true to the period in case they want to do that. You know, so that's the deal there. Okay, what's Anita Gelsing? I think symmetrical and in patterns, it's hard for me to think freeform. I'm learning. Hey, we're all different. Me, I think the reason why I like the asymmetrical and I like the freeform and I just kind of take a, a left and go down that road is because um, I have ADHD. You know, I know I pull that card out and tell you about that a lot of times, but it's really true. And a lot of jewelry makers do. And it's not a curse. It's It just means you think differently. Some of the most creative people in the world have ADHD, you know. Also, some of the most creative world and people in the world don't as well. But, um, so yeah, I do. I have it not just a little bit. Can you tell? <laughs> so I tend, it's hard for me to stay in a pattern. I, I want to kind of like, okay, it's time to just go, go this way. <laughs> Let's do something <laughs> different. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, it's sign off. I need to get my work on my piece. Hope I finish more than one. Yes, have fun, Kate. Okay, so I've gotten about to the end of this. Oh, I wanted to tell you one last thing. Remember the steampunk owl? Remember this guy? Oh, yeah. The guys who've been, you guys have been with me for quite a long time, know about him. I could not get him for four years. We couldn't even find who had to die. But... Recently, we found out, and they said they were able to do it. 10, 26 inches is a good length for a long necklace for a short person. I'm five foot nothing, too, Donna. <laughs> um, so we couldn't get it for the longest time. So finally, we located it, and they said they could make it. It took them a little bit while to get to dye up, but I had quite a few made. I had them done in brass socks, and I had them made in silverware. So if you're interested... They're on the site. They're up. They're ready to go. Harry Wood made the coolest necklace out of this guy you ever saw. If you get my newsletter, if you go back to the one, I think was the last one I put up. If not, it was the one before that. I put, you know, we had a really hunt because I thought I had it stashed in my hard drive and I didn't, but he finally found it. And so we got to share it. It was a lot of fun. So that one came back. So that's up there. Um, I got Ophelia back. I don't think she's on yet. No, she's not. Uh, she's the, on it, so. the lady with the harp came back in. This came in. In all three colors. In all three colors. Gold, silver, and brass socks. That's what I did this time. I have more going for gingerbread and russet iron now. And so I'm going doing gold again, too, because we got low on it. But anyhow, so these came in. I love this fur bracelet. You guys have seen this one. This is my bracelet. This is from the with the Choxy, which I put patina pin on it. I love this bracelet. That's earthy boho. That's what you can do with it. It makes a nice centerpiece too, but it makes a great bracelet. So anyway, yeah, Harry, Harry's he's good outside the box thinker. A lot of you guys are. Hey, Ingrid, I just saw you. Thanks for coming. 
OCD. You know what? I have OCD too, so isn't that lovely? I've, I have OCD. I definitely have I have OCD. ADHD, and I have OCD that goes with it, and I have generalized anxiety disorder with it. And um, I've had it my whole life and didn't know it till a few years ago. But you know what? It's okay. I got it under control. It's all good. Let's not get started on what's wrong with me because, baby, there's a lot wrong with me. <laughs> and it ain't even interesting. Okay, so here's what I wanted to tell you guys. Here's what's going on from our end of things. Okay, Lauren. You know how Lauren has um, her video? on the group every Wednesday. And so many of you are so faithful about coming and supporting her. And uh, she's so grateful. She's really blossomed during the time that she started doing it, I think about a year or so ago. She looks forward to doing that every week. You know, she's been putting up little games to play and everything to get everybody in the mood. So anyway, we are moving Lauren to YouTube. She can handle it. So she is going to come on YouTube on Wednesdays and do about a half an hour, 35 minutes. Same thing as she does on fa Facebook in the group, but she's going to do it on YouTube. And it's going to be a lot of product presentation, maybe suggestions as well. Here and there, I may come on and scoot her aside and do a little something, something. Gloria says she wears five necklaces around her neck. Go for it, girl. Maybe you should wear six. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you look great, more Gloria. Anyway, so yeah, Lauren, Lauren Lansdowne, my daughter-in-law, is going to be on here Wednesday at 5 o'clock, just like always. She'll be live on YouTube. So I will remind you, she will be on my channel. She'll be logged into my channel, on my channel. Okay? So that's where she's going to be. She'll, she'll remind you, too. Next Sunday, we'll not be with you because we have something else that we have to do in the middle of the afternoon, and we can't we can't make it happen. So we're going to, um, because we're putting Lauren on Wednesdays from now on, and we're going to try to get a little bit more Friday video done. We haven't been able to do that for a while. And I can't do one this Friday either because my mom's having surgery. So <clears throat> i got to go up to Lauren, sit in the hospital for a little while. She'll be fine. Um, so we got to get concentrating on that a little bit more and some other things. So we may not have Sunday live video every week going forward. This week we can't because we have to do something else, but uh, we're trying to figure it out. Hey, Deb, thanks for coming. And look at this. This is the, we had so many come this time. We had the peak attendance of ever. So now I'm telling yeah. you, we might not do it anymore. It's just been kind of hard to keep up with it every, every week. I love it. And I'm so thrilled. So many of you have come back and we have such a good time. And I feel closer and closer to you than I ever have. We are not giving this format up. We will be doing it more. Um, but not every week. So I'll have to let you know when, when I can figure out a pattern, if it's going to be once a month or if it's going to be, um, you know, twice a month or if it's going to be random and hope you show up or what. But uh, tell your friends that we're not going to be here next week and then after that we're going to see how it goes. Now I got something over here I want to show you. One more thing before I take off. See if I can reach it. Yeah. Bling! I got some bling here. These are seven millimeter caps. All right, rondelles. Not caps, duh. Okay, rondelles. Seven millimeter rondelles. Okay. So, how nice do they look with this? Let's just take and put some up through there so we can hold it. I think bling looks good with something that's um, kind of dark. You just kind of like, you don't expect it. You know, I'm all about that. So let's see, what if you put um, that on there and then this. Oh, it's just about perfect. Look at that, guys. This, this you know, a lot of people that like to do the, the broken jewelry stuff, they look for the old rhinestone stuff and use the chains and stuff. This is that look. This is perfect. And then maybe put a bead of some kind. I don't know which one. Probably not this one, but whatever. Oh, fit. And I finish it off that way. You know, maybe uh, on this now we can put the cone. Cool. 
cool. Now, does it fit here? I don't know. I don't know. This might be a little bit too big for that. You have to get it seat down in there good or if it goes crooked, it won't look right. But anyway, so because this is the last time we're going to do this, at least for a couple of weeks, anybody, a couple things, anybody who puts an order in tonight or tomorrow, if you want to go raid the clearance warehouse, I have reduced again. I have made it a higher discount than ever. You use this code clear up in here. And it's right now it is 40% off. And you know what? That's ridiculous because that stuff was already marked off. The stuff in the clearance warehouse is already marked down 20 to 60% already. Now you can have more 40 off of it. This is a ridiculous sale, but I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I want that stuff gone. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with what's left there because I'm going to get rid of that section of the site. We're on eBay now, and we're still on Etsy, and we're going to concentrate on those things. I can't do this, so I'm. it's gone. Go, go get it. Schlep it up. Have some fun. 40% off tonight. And tomorrow, I don't know if it's going to go on much longer than that, but right now I know it's good for tonight and tomorrow. Also, tonight and tomorrow. If you put in an order for me, 35 bucks and up. And that can be a stuff in that clearance stuff. So you know I ain't making any money there. But anyhow, if you do that, I have a lot of these. I got a good, really super good deal. I have four gross of them. So I got four strands like this. So there's plenty for me. If you just sell, get my money back and some to share with you. So if you put a little order in tonight for 35 up at beastboutiques.com, anything you want, I will give you a bag of 10 of these. And that's, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good little deal. So you'll get that on the side. You can ask for me to put rondelles in the memo when you come over. And I'm gonna pack them up and stick them out there with Jordan. And that starts now at this moment. If you place an order a little bit earlier today and he hasn't shipped it yet, we'll throw him in too. Hey, Chris, thanks for coming. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And going forward, uh, we won't see you next week. And the next time I come back to do the live session, I don't know. I'll have to let you know. Maybe we'll do one in a couple of weeks. Maybe we won't. It might be for a little while, okay? So, you know, when you see the deals and stuff come up on Saturday, you don't have to wait and see what's coming and, you know, all that. You know, it's we will be here sometimes and I will let you know, but we're not going to be here all the time. We will be Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, Lauren will be on and I'm going to try to show up and sneak in there, okay? She will be live here so you can talk to us then. But we've had a great time together and we will have great times together going forward. I just need to get this book done. So we appreciate all the support that you give to us at Bisu Boutiques. Without you, there would be no Bisu Boutiques, and I mean that literally. There would not be one. Um, there's a lot of competition out there today, and this is not an easy business to be in, but I'm here for the long haul. I'm here because I love it, and I'm here because I have met some really great people who are now dear friends to me. So I'm just, I'm so grateful for all of you who've been here today and we're gonna gonna do uh the best we can and uh have fun have fun show sh be sure you share us uh share with us at the website your stuff that you've made don't forget get your downtons done and get them get them in okay get them posted at pinterest Maybe you'll win. Somebody's going to win today, too. And I'll tell you what that winner's going to get. They're going to, I told you you were going to get one of those, um, this. Clasp. You're going to get one of the clasps. I don't know where I put it, but it's here. You're going to get a clasp. I'm going to give the winner today some of these rondelles because I have so many of them. I'm going to give them a little bit of this brass ox stuff and some other fun things. Okay? And if you want any of the change, just private message me or call me or whatever you want to do. Okay? All right. Yes, Susan Smith said it all. Have a great evening, everyone. You better believe it. <laughs> you have a great evening, too. Thank you so much. I love you, too, Beans. You're very special. All of you are. 
and we're going to all take care, aren't we? We're all going to take care, and we will we will be around. <laughs> we won't be missing. We just won't be here on Sunday next week, and then from then on, we'll see what's going to happen, okay? So we will be around. I'll see you on Wednesday. How about that? You won't have to wait a whole week. So have fun, and away we go. Where's the chicken? <laughs> Chicken. Now this this was his hat, by the way. We forgot. I think. Yeah, said. we forgot to mention. This is his hat. That was his hat. That's another use for this bead cap. It's his hat. <laughs> to cover his. This is hat. Okay. Yeah, this looks dumb, doesn't it? But anyway, <laughs> Javi's a kid. That's all right. She's not dumb by any means. So I'll tell you that right now. Hey, we love you like all. Yay! Yay! Thanks for coming. We'll see you real soon. Come join the creative group. Bye bye. Bye.